Happy New Year. We finally made it. If you're watching this video, then odds are your New Year's resolution is to make some extra income so you can start to live the life you've always dreamed. One popular way to do that is by building out a dividend portfolio, one that pays you every few months without having to worry about when to buy or sell. Individuals usually lean towards dividend income if they wish to simplify their passive income stream. And if you wish to enroll in a DRIP, a dividend reinvestment plan, then you can continuously buy more shares of the company in question by using your dividends to do so. If this all sounds enticing to you, then please sit back, pull up your watch list, and take a note of these top three dividend paying stocks for a decent passive income. With that being said, let's get into number one, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, is a company that so few in the general population have heard of, but our lives would be sent to ruin if they disappeared. TSMC manufactures chips for its customers exclusively, so it's never competing with those customers with products of their own. Apple and AMD are some of the largest customers of TSMC, but most major semiconductor companies utilize TSMC for their manufacturing. This includes ARM, Broadcom, MediaTek, and NVIDIA. And seeing the huge performance gains that Apple's been able to get from their new M1 and M1X chips and MacBooks, I wouldn't be shocked if other tech companies follow suit in making their own chips. Already, we have seen this occur in other areas where computer chips are becoming more vital than ever before. The automotive industry, for instance, is looking into developing their own chips. Some manufacturers, like General Motors, are even turning to TSMC for help with this process. And as we see an expansion into more power-hungry sectors, such as virtual and augmented reality, TSMC is one of the few companies who are capable of keeping up with that demand. Over the past decade, TSMC has tripled the returns of the S&P 500 and generated around $48 billion of revenue in 2020, with a net income of roughly $18.6 billion. With the semiconductor market looking to be worth around $600 billion by 2025, TSMC capturing 24% of all global semiconductor output value and a dividend yield of 1.3%, TSMC is a great buy for the new year with its potential ever growing as we approach a more tech-driven world. Number two, AT&T. This one is interesting because I will be the first to admit that investing in a company that is down roughly 15% since last year can be, well, terrifying. And the fact that AT&T has about as much debt as it does equity, and things begin to look a bit scarier. But there is a bit of a silver lining and a reason for me putting this stock on this list. Currently, AT&T has an 8.36% dividend yield. While extremely high dividend yields often bring more questions for investors, AT&T spends about 58% of its cash flow on its dividend payment and has steadily increased its free cash flow over the past decade to compensate. AT&T is also a dividend aristocrat, so the odds of them missing that dividend payment anytime soon is highly unlikely. Now, don't get too excited about that dividend yield just yet because there is some news. Whether it is good or bad is dependent on how you look at it, but it's definitely news. AT&T has admitted that its entertainment business was a failure and is now looking to make a deal with Discovery to form a new media company with their existing media assets, like HBO and Warner Brothers. This is good news because holders will receive shares of this new company and AT&T will be unloading $43 billion in debt when the deal goes through. However, this will most likely result in a lower dividend yield from the company. But with the current yield being as high as it is, odds are they will still remain a company with a higher than average dividend yield. AT&T is also an incredibly stable and well-known business that is very sticky. Most individuals know what AT&T is, and about 97% of Americans own a cell phone. So while this may be a weird addition to this list, the future is looking bright for AT&T, and if you're willing to hold on for the ride, then it will make a great addition to your dividend portfolio. Before we get to our final pick, I'd like to ask you to please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. Our goal at The Motley Fool is to make the world smarter, happier, and richer. One of the ways we're doing that is by making content like this free to the public for anyone to see. We want to make sure everyone has access to financial knowledge no matter who they are, and subscribing and liking the video helps us keep doing that. And we like to think that videos like this build value for everyone, whether you're just starting out or you've been investing for decades. And because knowledge is power, we also encourage you to share your knowledge and know-how down below in the comments, because you never know who could benefit from it. And if you're a beginner looking for help with investing, we got a free starter kit for you. It covers everything from opening a brokerage account to buying your first stock. And it comes with five more great stock picks to get you started. Again, that is available for free at fool.com slash start, or you can find it at the link in the description. On with the video. Number three, Kinsale Capital Group. Kinsale is such an interesting company that takes the business plan of most insurance companies and flips it on its head. While most big insurance companies like to target large markets that have a ton of data and potential customers like auto and homeowners insurance, Kinsale does the complete opposite. Instead, they target these smaller niches that often find it hard to get insurance. Some customers of Kinsale include petting zoos or pool installation companies, places that don't have a cookie cutter method of getting insurance anywhere else. Because this is such an untapped market, the growth potential for Kinsale is huge. 
Currently, the larger competitors of Kinsale, who also deal with these excess and surplus insurance customers, only account for about half of the market, with Kinsale having just a 0.8% market share. Kinsale is competing in a market worth $66 billion, compared to the total U.S. insurance market of $1.3 trillion. With a market cap of $5 billion and trailing 12-month revenues under $600 million, Kinsale could see a 6x in share price over the next 10 years. Not only is there a stellar growth opportunity for the company, but Kinsale also offers a 0.2% dividend yield, which is just another reason to add this stock to your dividend portfolio. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you learned something. And if you did, please let us know down in the comments below. Or better yet, let us know what stocks you would pick for your own dividend portfolio, or maybe some that you're already holding. And as always, please let us know what elements of this video you liked or disliked, because we're always trying to improve here at The Molly Fool. Thanks for watching, and Fool on.